Mutunga succession, of course, is the main thing. It's also going to be one of the subjects that we're going to tackle right here on State of the Nation. And uh, the next CJ, why big names failed the test. Now, I do remember that yesterday LSK had, uh, you know, come out to say that we need to know, it needs mm -hmm. to be transparent as to why some of those names that may have been expected to be shortlisted for the CJ did not make it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, when you look at these uh, recruitments by the Judicial Service Commission, it's a very interesting in uh, several regards. Number one, the, the Judicial Service Commission is a recruiting agency, and there are so many guys who have applied. Of course, they have to come up with a method uh, to eliminate all of them. So now the big question is, for somebody like, say, Professor Makao Mutua, who has been eliminated, would it be prudent for the Judicial Service Commission to actually tell Kenyans why Professor Makao Mutua has been eliminated or should they just write a letter to Makao Mutua and tell him that uh, you've been eliminated because of the following reasons. Mm. And there are many uh, schools of uh, conversations. The number one, since this is a public position, then as Kenyans we ought to know why he's been uh, eliminated. But again, then some people claim on uh, the privilege of uh, privacy. And when you speak to the Judicial Service Commission inside us, they give a variety of reasons. There are a number of these guys who applied for these positions. Some of their spouses wrote letters saying, this guy doesn't respect the rule of law. Every single day keeps on uh, giving me a beating. A number did not have a clearance. A number didn't have a clearance. So it would be very interesting as to whether or not the Judicial Service Commission would actually want to reveal the reasons as to why these people were eliminated. Mm.